Hi everyone, I'm NBCLX storyteller Chase Kane. And I'm NBCLX storyteller Ngezi Akelido. And we are in beautiful Centennial Park in Atlanta. You can see the Olympic rings behind us from the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta. And that's why we're here today. We want to talk about the Olympics. 25 years ago, this was the site of the 100th uh, modern Olympic Games. Yeah, and it was the fourth Olympic Games held in the U.S. at that time, which is pretty cool that Atlanta got chosen. Also, sort of both of our hometown. We both grew up not too far from Atlanta. Yeah, I'm about an hour away. And where are you, Chase? Uh, Marietta, so about 20 minutes north of Atlanta. Okay. And I mean, one of the things I remember was that, you know, Atlanta was, Atlanta was a city, but Atlanta's not New York or Los Angeles or Chicago. And so when people were talking about like Atlanta could host an international Olympic Games, even as a kid, I remember thinking, wow, that's, that's kind of a big deal, like here in Atlanta. I mean, it's the biggest stage in sports and for it to be in our home state, I think at that time, maybe we were a little too young to realize the significance of it, but it did a lot to revitalize the downtown here in Atlanta too. Oh, I didn't even notice it before. I mean, one of the cool things I think for both of us coming back here is that the 1996 Olympics were the first and only Olympic Games that either of us have been to. Yes, let's talk about our memories from those games. Chase, you you have a little piece of history here too, right here in this park. I have a brick that says Chase Kane, 1983, which means I am giving away my age on television. <laughs> but it's really cool, I haven't seen that brick in I don't know, 15 years. And then next to it, I see bricks of a couple of my relatives who are no longer with us. Um, so that was a little bit of an emotional moment, but it also just reminded me of the sort of beautiful memories of coming down here with my family, some of whom aren't here anymore, and getting to experience what an Olympic Games is like. So my first Olympic memory is coming to the 96 Games and watching soccer. My family is huge soccer fans and we actually came and we were rooting for Nigeria so my dad is from Nigeria you know I was born here you know I'm Nigerian American but there is this duality that when I think about those games that is sort of presented for me because until that point your only experience was as a black America your mom mm -hmm. is from the United States you said your dad's from Nigeria was that the first time that you were sort of surrounded with that culture and maybe like meeting your ancestry in a way I think that was the first time that I was like cognizant of it and that I really remembered it. It's a memory that sticks out for me. Seeing people excited about their country and just prideful about their country, no matter where you're from, that's something I took from those games. Even you become fans of athletes with great stories from other countries. I think that's, that's another great thing about the Olympics. I have the experience of a lot of people that it's just, I'm from the United States and I mean, that, that's who I root for, but we are a nation of immigrants. We are a multinational country, and so we have a lot of people here that, yeah, they're gonna cheer for Team USA, but they're also gonna cheer for one of these other flags from one of the other countries competing that is part of who they are. And I think you're right, that's, that's what makes this so exciting, that you can cheer for more than one team. Also, the Olympics, the 96 games, we both have some swag. Well, I did go digging in my, <laughs> my grandparents' basement, and I found this very large, extra large, <laughs> totally 90s, totally 90s uh, Olympic t-shirt. I had this one in white. Oh, was this the shirt to have? This was the remember. red, white, and blue shirt. I had it also in like a triple XL. <laughs> and then I also found a couple things in the basement, and I was like, I should bring one to Gozi. So have a little Atlanta 1996 sticker. Oh, thank so now you. So you now you have an extra memento too. I have an extra memento for the games, and I'm gonna frame this because this is really cool and it's a piece of our history. How cool that we were both at the Atlanta Olympics and now you have a podcast about the Tokyo Olympics, me going to the Tokyo Olympics, it all comes full circle, doesn't it? Full circle, I love that.